Looks like we are getting into our last game and none other We're home, than. Boys. <laughs> we are back home on Oni Village uh, with SLU, St. Louis University against Ole Miss. I think Odyssey is having a little bit of fun with us. I don't know. <laughs> you know. I think they are. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we will see an Atlas ban and a Rune ban. Um, I mean,. Fairly standard. Um, Atlas, a just strong goalie all around. Um, and Rune, we've seen have, I mean, large impacts on the last two games. Um, and I think that's good to, well, I guess, was it? Oh, no, it was SLU that banned Rune. So that's smart to take the Rune away from Ole Miss. Yeah, the um, banish that Rune has is just, it's so impactful. It At is. any stage of the game, you can use it to get a goal post unlock. You can use it to remove the goalie even to get the goal. Yeah, yeah, very strong ability. And we saw a lot of success um, on Rune from Ole Miss. So I think that's a strong ban. We do see Rasmus back. We see Trademark on his good old-fashioned Drakkar. Um, so this should be an extremely good close game i'm so excited to see if we get another hopefully five game series more omega strikers for me but <laughs> <laughs> we do see two goal posts go down very quickly drakar looking to make a quick play but not able to oh never mind <laughs> able to find the goal post there with just the corner of his shotgun barrel but yeah i will say if we've seen the love for coin in the chat before <laughs> and coin is already putting up a lot of pressure on top of Drakkar. Nice. It seems like these players just know each other so well. Yeah. Like they know exactly what each other want. And again, Dubu's feeling the pressure. Yeah, great play there by Dubu to make that save. Um, a little while back now, but um, Zora really locking down this goal post. As we do see Coin a little threatened by the Juno standing a little close. Now Juno, or er, I'm sorry, Juliet, not Juno. Um, but, you know, who is threatened is the Juno. Um, Drakkar can find kills. Ooh, Ooh, Rasmus can find hooks like that. But not quite enough to finish her off. She does get the health orb. She looks like she will be okay. Kai uses the core flip, but they find the goal anyway. Coin able to just squeak that by. Yeah, and Coin has a core, a core flip already. Like, ready to go. Um, I will say... We've seen St. Louis do a great job of using the core flips early. Like, they don't always feel pressured to use it for the goal itself, but to get it open. Like we see here, going for it, unable to get it this time, but does get the setup with Drakkar. And now suddenly, we've seen the pressure that they've had before, and it can make a world of difference just having that goal open. Yeah, for sure. And a great save there by Zora to maintain the goal barrier. And he will keep it up. We do have an open net on the other side, but Dubu with his core flip ready. Drakkar comes out of invisibility, but finds nothing. Um, so just time to kill for SLU. Stay alive. Wow. <laughs> it makes a save there. That was somehow not a goal barrier, but Zora locking it down right now, planting his feet in the ground. Yeah. And I mean, Fluffy Waffles in the back is doing a good job. Just kind of chilling. We see the special come out. We're heading into overtime, but even then, it's just been Ooh. slow Great. until Drakkar shows up. Great teamwork there to send the ball up um, from Coin. Um, Dubu clearly, I mean, can only answer one of them, and Coin and Trademark showing that that synergy <laughs> that we saw earlier today that they had to pull out against um, Lakeland to, I mean, narrowly get away with that win earlier today but they certainly have not lost it between then and now yeah and we do see two core flips on the side of Ole Miss and oh. but Drakkar <laughs> able to use his and really break up the pressure that was going on there Rasmus again just really keeping up this pressure on the bottom side and suddenly Ole Miss's goal is open again yeah, and, and Coin on this Rasmus is taking so much attention. Oh, good. Right as I say it, all the attention goes to Trademark, but Ole Miss seems to be a little over committing to one side of the field. Um, it, it leaves passing plays open for 
a team like SLU, who we know is coordinated and good enough to capitalize on that. So got to see a little more coverage from Ole Miss um, spreading out and covering all options. Now, if I am St. Louis, I am feeling pretty good if I'm the side of Ole Miss. I see that unstoppable and want to take this Rasmus off the field. Um, but we're not seeing that. Nobody takes it. That shocks me a little bit. Um, I think, oh, probably I would have taken it on start on the Juliet um, because Juno does get the Monumentalist, and I think that's very important. Yeah, um, I mean, look at the pressure already. <laughs> but yeah, resisting Rasmus' hooks, resisting Drakkar's kill potential, um, I think is so valuable, but we see them pass up on it, and I... You know, I respect that strategy. I mean, they must feel confident that they can stay alive, and so far they are, so um, see if it'll end up paying off for them. Yeah, and I do like that we're seeing, once again, the strategy for these barriers, especially on this map. If you have to sack one, that is fine. It's when you start trying to cover both and co over committing to saving both. Wow. Uh, Drakkar going down to Juliet, and suddenly St. Louis's goal is open. The special coming out from Juliet, but unable to take it. Juliet's sitting on low stagger, and here comes Drakkar. Yeah, see, yep, there he goes, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know that Unstoppable would have made that any different, but still. Um, we see the kill threat from Drakkar. We see the, frankly, kill threat from Rasmus as well. And Oh, great look there, but not quite Whoa, as Drakkar amazing. just taps it in anyway. Man, I mean, Coin, Coin's Rasmus is... Insane. ...is unbelievable. But don't don't sell short the Drakkar. Oh, trademark absolutely is, not. Trademark is popping in out of the blue left and right and saying, you forgot about me for a second. <laughs> and getting these amazing setups. Yeah, the, the synergy from Coin and Trademark is just, it's unparalleled from what we've seen from almost any other team. They work so well together, their characters wow. work great together, oh, whoops. and they're making great use of it. Of course, as soon as I say that, Trademark gets <laughs> yeeted off the map, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great pick there. Uh, see if they're able to capitalize on it, but we do have an open net on the other end of the field. Um, as Coin looks to make a solo play, potential not quite there. Um, Zoro easily able to clear that out though, and. I mean, it, it makes you think, like, okay, as we start, we know that SLU will be one of, if not the top team in the bracket when we get there. Do teams need to start banning one of these characters? I mean... I think it's time. Yeah. This I is mean, starting to get to the point. <laughs> yeah, again, Drakkar just able to tap it right by the Dubu, who isn't able to roll into it quite soon enough and stop the core. But you, bring I mean, up you, a good you can point. only ban one character, right? We see two huge threats in Drakkar and Rasmus, and I'm blanking on who Ole Miss banned this game. Um, I don't but, remember Kevin, do you? Oh, Not off yeah, the top of my I, head, I, I, but it's... Unfortunately, I can't remember. But And they, they do find another kill under Drakkar, so maybe that's the answer. But one way or another, you got to find a way to shut down this forward duo because they are running through it. Well, oh, I mean, we <laughs> maybe Yachty the way to shut him down. Goal. Yeah, maybe the way to shut him down is to kill him. We do see Drakkar get knocked out and Ole Miss able to capitalize on a numbers advantage, but I do, do think, I do think, I do think you bring up a great point, though. If you can isolate one of these two forward, um, forward linchpins, I'll say. <laughs> what I mean, it it answers it brings up the question: What do they do instead? I, I mean, how I, do they operate without the other? Right. I mean. I, we don't know. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and we haven't we haven't needed to see it until now. They may have an answer, but no team against SLU has even made it that far to single out one of the forwards. So we'll see if Ole Miss can pull that off. They did for that goal, and it worked in their favor. Oh. So can this become a consistent thing? We'll see as Drakkar gets a little bit of a breakaway. This could be dangerous, but Dubu holds strong, but there's another oh. forward on the other side of the field. This duo is deadly you lock down one and the other one is just sitting waiting for the core to land in their lap yeah and now as we start looking at this i want all of you at home to start looking at the way that they play forward is that they're always in parallel with each other it's either parallel like top to bottom or if they're feeling the pressure on their goal suddenly they're all in line mm -hmm. they start pushing the core forward 
and then break away to being parallel again. And that is causing so many problems and just a level of consistency for St. Louis that is just unmatched at the moment. Absolutely. It's a game <laughs> it's a game strategy that people don't know the answer to yet. Yeah, it is it's simply overwhelming. And this is this is when I, if any of you football brains are out there, wow, we do see a, a pick under Jakar again. Maybe this is what they need, but um, as I wow, another goal barrier <laughs> goes down and I can't get my sentence out as Kai does make a great save there, but this is what I when I would love to have my little John Madden uh, you know, scribble all over the screen and like describe what you're talking about with these just like covering so much space and like just like that. Um, and I mean, Exhibit A, right as we're talking about it, they're so coordinated playing with each other and finding the openings in the goalie now with no goal barriers left. Oh my lord, that would have been <laughs> everywhere <laughs> oh, <laughs> if that nice went goal. in. But a great goal on the other end from. Uh, Ole Miss and Juliet able to punch it right in. Yeah, um, so one thing I want to bring up here, Ole Miss seeming to find answers to how to deal with uh, Rasmus and Drakkar. Taking out the Drakkar, isolating coin on Rasmus, and just making it the three on two has seemed to work. One thing I do want to point out, it is possible that some of the other teams who have been playing against SLU might be holding their answers for this duo until playoffs, until they have seating decided, not wanting to show their hand until the very last second possible. That is, that's a great point. Um, that if, <laughs> if, SL, if, excuse me, <laughs> if SLU has flaws, yeah, maybe you don't, don't let them go as, wow, Rasmus gets caught there on the bottom. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, save your, your big time strategies for the games that matter the most. And frankly, these are not those games. Yeah, and we're seeing, I think we've found the answer, is a lot of people are playing this matchup right now where Coin and Trademark are playing opposite each other parallel, and yet, because of that, they're spreading out just a little too far, and Juliet is carrying them into the blast zone. Yeah, they yeah are. definitely an adjustment that I would like to see is, jeez, I mean, we can't stress this enough. This duo is deadly but an adjustment i mean like we are we're talking very highly of slu and for good reason but if there's something that slu needs to adjust before bracket play it's exactly that it's to play a little safer because you can't afford to be getting picked as often as they are um because we do see juliet in a little <laughs> bit of trouble not sure if they'll be able to finish that but that has been the one one major flaw that has been the most noticeable at least um so we'll see if they can adjust um, as we go to lunch after this game and <laughs> maybe watch some film and break down what needs to change. But great save there by Dubu to protect both goal barriers. Yeah, I am loving wow. this play style adaptation where suddenly now they are they punished the Juliet. They got the Juliet off the map, but Dubu is doing a great job of absorbing this pressure. And yet, suddenly... The caster curse comes through. <laughs> but I'm glad it's not just me, Kevin. It's everyone. It's everyone. <laughs> it today. runs in our family, I guess. <laughs> um, but oh, oh nice. wow! It just slips right through everyone, and like that, coin gets another goal for SLU on match point. Up on set point, SLU is sitting ready. Uh, again, I blinked, <laughs> and the the core went from all the way from the goal barrier in the top right into the goal in the bottom left. I, that is such a huge difference maker that we're just not seeing on any other team. Coins Rasmus is disgusting. Yeah, and I will acknowledge, we've talked about the strategy on this map, which appears to be happening a lot, um, where a lot of the goalies will sack one of the goalposts and stand by the other. We're seeing it. Coin and Trademark seem to have a game plan for it. We know that it's a good strategy, Ooh. but then <laughs> wow. there are situations Dude. like that where it just gets a little too close if one of those abilities wasn't up as we see if the core begin to move Ooh. forward again. Oh my goodness. Coin gets picked. So now Dubu has time to get those abilities back up. That was a great point that had that core been a little more forward, Dubu would have been in a lot of trouble. But now we do see a goal barrier go down for Kai. This is an opportunity for Ole Miss to stay in this game. If, if St. Louis finds one more goal, uh, this is over. Ooh, Ole Miss needs to, to score. 
and Start gets picked. And all of a sudden, this is very scary with coin and trademark in your face. Dubu locking down. Start is now back alive. That was some great defense so far. But Ooh. there goes the goal barrier. It's down to go eventually. It's bound to go eventually. Oh, oh they make it weak. They tie Zorro. it up. Ole Miss barely get it in, tying it up two to two. So showing some signs of life here, trying to bring this to the next game. Oh, wow. I, that's. It's that alive. was Yeah, just a miscue by Zoro. I'm pretty sure he just missed. Um, oh, no. But oh both goal barriers God. go down in a heartbeat. Oh this is scary. Now, one goal barrier down. Ole Miss not out of it yet, but not the start you want, that's for sure. As, okay. As, oh, we get a breakaway. Oh, great defense by Dubu using all of his abilities. He doesn't have his core flip yet. He's not very close, but... Ole Miss able to turn that into an offensive possession, but find nothing from it. We have a core flip. Oh, and he missed! Oh, no! An opportunity to put the game away, and he missed his core flip. But, oh, oh Drakkar, the good old-fashioned trademark Drakkar. We saw it so many times through this game. We saw it earlier today. Just stuffing, tapping it into the goal right in Dubu's face. Oh, my God. Goodness, it's so close every time, man. <laughs> that They're... that did not feel like a 3-0 toward the end. No, no it, it did. didn't. They they figured something out. They there's a strategy that's evolving, and I think some people should be looking back at this game going into the bracket. I, this yeah. is the game you have to take your lessons from. You need to find ways to neutralize the double forward.